kind of funny. It's <laughs> Idaho Forest. There you go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I kind of like that it says that on there. Let's get yourself a torch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this up so it's before I stain it. I'm not trying to make it look too too trashy. <laughs> That beer runs through the yard again. You might have seen them in the background running right there. Trying to flip this around. We had an old family in the yard yesterday. You're a little late, dog. I think they're already gone. <laughs> He's late to the party. Probably set this right here on. Make it a little bit easier on me. I'm trying to do this to the whole project. There we go. Gonna take a look. Look at that. Try and keep that in there because I kind of like that. Well, it's kind of cool. I always look for things like that. That way, I do less work making something look fairly decent. It's kind of cool. Now, I gotta do the rest of the project like that. I just want this whole project after I'm done. I just want it to be very simple. I don't want any complicated craziness to it. Just a real simple project. I'm sure a lot of you watching understand. Simpler the better. Probably help if I go from this angle. I don't need much on here because I'm going to be staining it anyway. But I want it to have a little bit of intensity.
this is the the clear gloss that I use and you can pick this up for about seven bucks I think and it, it lasts a while I've been using this same can for a while but this should turn out really nice and you're, you're gonna have to apply a few coats so just let it dry and then uh, just apply some more don't get crazy with it just put a light coat on and then come back later on and just keep reapplying it this will give it a nice finish you're gonna have to do this a few times okay you can see it wants to start kind of getting glossy already but you're gonna have to do this a few times to make it nice I use this on a lot of my projects it helps out gets it done faster and it dries faster Let it dry now mark my holes gonna go ahead and do some drilling try to make them as straight as I can right <laughs> yeah well it is what it is. So you get that tightened up. I'm not in a hurry. Now one thing cool, I'm just gonna get these are starter skirt starter holes. You can do these. You can do this deck any way you like. You know, it's it's your it's your project. Let's see. Switch bits here. There's my longer ones. I've got some really long. I've got some unusual bits, man. You guys and gals out there. I got some. Uh, I got some hardcore bits. I, one thing that I have got, I can tell you, I do have tools. And so, I mean. Uh, one of those things for me i want tools i want mechanical tools i've always i've always been i just love tools man i collect all of them I, even if i only use them a couple of times all right let's try and get that flush with something wood there we go you feel it when it goes all the way through now these are metal bits, they're not wood. I don't have a wood bit that's this long. The only thing I have is my augers and stuff. Stuff for bushcrafting and things. That got it, yep, my way through. And it's good to have not just cordless drills. I know I'm not giving you a preaching lesson, but you know, on, on tools, but you definitely wanna have uh, cordless, uh, cord operated you know wall wall operated uh drills as well as hurdy gurdies hurdy gurdies you know human human body operation right turn the crank and and drill the hole right hey, Dad. Sp specific to the very task i'm gonna i'm gonna have uh legs down here too i don't know if any of you know it i wanted to make the holes a certain height i don't want them to fall fall through I want them to poke their heads out on the other side let's just get this I'm gonna use a fatter washer for one and a smaller for the other I don't have two of the same washers for some reason the size wise but oh that one went right through it's all right now I need to hold these in place while I uh, I mount the uh, machine up here we'll go ahead and mount that mount that up here and get the holes started or the screws the nuts started as you were let's go ahead and put these on it's on here I've got the wrong ones there Okay, it's these small ones here. Here we go. All right. Kids, I thought you were listening to your music. Did you get bored with the music? Yes, I decided to show you another robot. Another robot? See, this is my next one. All right, it's let me see. It's going to be the red robot. My son and his robot adventures. This is what I'm going to make. An artificial <laughs> robot. <laughs> this is the chimp. 
Good job, kid. That's this cool. This is what I'm going to make for my next He's uh, He's obsessed with robots. He says yes. he's going to be a scientist, and he's going to build robots, and he doesn't want them to have artificial intelligence because nope. he's afraid they're going to kill us yes. all and take over the world. That's he has a wild funny. imagination, and he, I don't think... I don't think I've told him anything like the that. Shrimp. I think he just kind of gets it from stuff he hears. All right, so the is a, a there's that. Well, now I gotta tighten these up, and we should be golden. I just need to I'm, decide if I'm gonna put something up here in the front or not, because I've got stuff just to just for looks. I could put something under there. That's kind of cool, you know. And the <laughs> Jerry, what did you say your brother does? I did tell him about okay, Daddy. Did you? Talking about did, you did you say he talks too much? They can talk to you. Can I talk to you, Dad? All right, for the bottom of this thing, I just glued a couple of pieces of leather together, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna hear these on here for now until I come up with some other wild idea for uh, for padding. I, I thought of, you know, rubber pieces, you know, all kinds of stuff, but it just needs something. Just in the meantime, I'm just going to go around all four corners of this thing and put these on. I think this will be good temporarily until I come up with something better. Rubber actually gets this, uh... This leather gets sticky enough. Hey, that's a scary song. What's a scary song? I'll what see. song are you listening to, Crazy? <laughs> she thinks every song's scary. Anyway, that should do it. I'm going to do the other two and I'll set this thing up and see how she looks. Alright, the sewing machine is finished. I went ahead and I just used a bolt from a crossbow. It, it was already damaged from, from the impact of a wall, so I figured let's make perfect sense. I just trimmed it down a little bit and used it to, and then added my washer down here. Makes for a great little, nice, uh, nice, nice compact little kit. Get you rocking and rolling. I did a, uh, this is from an, uh, uh, from a, a Viking bearded Viking axe handle that I, I had trimmed to uh, make a custom one, and I went ahead and just took that piece and used it for that. So it's a good little setup, man. Kind of goes with my theme. I mean, I'm making I'm making so many different sheaths for knives and and different axe heads and things for mask and stuff. And this is what I do, folks. And uh, you know, I get I get asked like, hey, man, you gonna do? Nothing but leather work from now on. This is this is what I do. This is how I make money to to feed my family. This is part of my job. What I do is I do leather craft stuff, and I want to make my life a little bit easier. And one day I'll have a shop and a store, and yeah, people, it'll be a preparedness uh, preparedness store. But on the side, I'm I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff. And and why does Daddy work, sweetie? Because. So I can buy her princess dresses. See, that's what this is all about. And and I, I I do plenty of talking points and and sitting down and chatting and running my mouth and stuff. But um, I like projects, I like making stuff. And this is one of those things. This is part of my project. And as you see, the little little leg tabs work great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great little piece. Be fun to see it in a leather craft video where. Uh, you know, putting some stuff together in the future. Anyway, that's it. Uh, God bless you guys. Please share the videos and uh, hit that like button for me. I appreciate it. God bless.